triple contraction barbell hip thruster. So first of all, you're going to set up in a hip thruster position. Basically, you're going to have your back against a box or bench to be where your shoulder blades end is where you start on the bench or the box. And then you're going to proceed to have your feet underneath your knees, relatively underneath your feet. Mine are slightly in front. That's okay, but relatively underneath. You're going to start from the bottom and you're going to thrust into the air until you're in a tabletop position. Tabletop is where shoulders, hips, and knees are all in line. You're forming a flat line. That's why it's called tabletop because you could put something on there like it's a table. And I'm going to start here at the beginning. Watch, I'm going to come down. Here I am flat. One, two, three, down. One, I don't go all the way back down. Two, I don't go all the way back down. Three, back down. So it's like a hip thruster, but then it's like two cast glute bridge thrusts. So it's essentially two half reps with one full rep. So the first one is a full rep because you're starting from the bottom, you're coming up, and here's the second one, it's a half rep. The third one's a half rep, then all the way back down, and then two more short reps. So I'll walk you through it one more time because it's a little confusing. Here, starting with a full hip thrust, half rep, half rep, and down. And that's it. It's one full range of motion hip thrust followed by two half reps, and then you proceed to start over again with triple contraction barbell hip thrusters. I would recommend keeping your chin tucked and you absolutely should keep your core braced like you're gonna take a punch. You do not want any rounding the spine and you do not want any pain in your hips.